This tutorial is about using GeoGebra as a powerful tool for graphic statics. I will show you step by step how you can construct this simple drawing of a funicular arch in GeoGebra. I have created a template for you that contains all the necessary tools that you will need for graphic statics so that you can fully concentrate on constructing and exploring your structure. Start by opening the template below. Now you see the standard window of GeoGebra. In the top part, you see all the standard tools for making geometric constructions. For the purpose of graphic statics, we will use mainly the tools point, intersect of two objects, line, segment, vector, the vector from point, parallel line, text, slider, and show height objects. If you click on the last button, you see the custom tools that are specific for the purpose of graphic statics. These are not included in GeoGebra by default, so if you want to use them, you always have to open this template. To start drawing the funicular construction, begin by adding the support. For this purpose, we will use two support hinges. Begin by selecting the corresponding tool and click where you want to place the first support. Now enter the name of the scale support slider in order to control the size of the support. Now do the same thing with the second support hinge. Hold the control button and select the two points. Click with the right mouse button and select show label. By that, you disable the labels of these two points. Now let's add some loads. Select the load tool and click where you want to place the load. Now do the same thing with the second load. Again, you can select all the points and disable their labels. The next step will be labeling the spaces. Select the text tool and click on the first space. Type in A in quotes. Notice that it is necessary to use the quotes in order to tell GeoGebra that we want to enter a string and not the coordinates of the point A. Do the same thing with spaces B and C. Now let's make the force diagram. Select the point tool and click where you want to start it. Now select the vector from point tool and click on the first load AB. Now click on the point where you want to start the force diagram and the vector will be transferred. Let's rename the point. and do the same thing with the load BC. For clarity, it is always necessary to name the point properly. The resultant force is made by creating a line starting at point A and ending at point C. Let's change the style of this line from a normal line to a dotted line. Right click on the line, select object properties, Go to style and change line style to a dotted line. Let's change the line thickness to 5. Now select an arbitrary point somewhere in the force diagram. Name it O trial and connect it with the points A, B, and C. Since this is only a trial funicular polygon, we want to make the lines gray. In the object properties, select color and change the color to gray. Create a point on the line of action AB and transfer the lines from the trial funicular polygon into the form diagram. 
Select the tool for parallel line, click on the segment O trial A and transfer this line so that it is running through the new point G. Now do the same thing for the line B O trial. Select the tool Intersect two objects and create a point of intersection between this line and the line of action BC. Now take the tool parallel line again and make a line that is parallel to the segment CO trial and runs through point H. Now again select the tool intersect two objects and create an intersection of these two new lines. Select the parallel line tool, click on the line of action of the resultant and transfer it to the form diagram so that it runs through the new point I. These new lines look a little bit messy, so let's blend them out. Select them by holding the control button right click and select show object. Replace the previous lines by segments. Select the segment tool and connect the three points just like they were connected before. Since this funicular polygon is not the final construction we want to make it gray. Let's select the whole polygon, right click, select object properties, color and make it gray. Change the appearance of the resultant in the form diagram to a thick dotted line. Create a point on the line of action BC where the final construction will be running through. This point is very important for the construction, so we want to make it bigger and white. Create a line running between the right support and the new point. Select the intersect two objects tool and create the intersection of this new line and the resultant force. Create a line between the left support and this new intersection point. Create an intersection point between the line of action AB and the left line. Now again, we can blend out these lines for clarity. And connect the new points by segments. Again, we can also blend out the label. And by doing that, we have created the whole construction. The last thing we have to do is create the final force diagram. Select the parallel line tool, click on the segment AO in the form diagram and make a parallel to it in the force diagram that runs through point A. Do the same thing for segment BO and segment CO. Where these three lines meet is the point O final. Rename the new point to O final and again blend out these new lines for clarity. Replace these lines by segments. Now you can move around all the input parameters and see how your structure reacts to them. You can for example change the forces or move the white point up and down. By doing that, you change the structural depth. And you see clearly that the more structural depth you have, the smaller are the forces in your system. I hope that this tutorial was helpful on getting you started with GeoGebra and uh, with all the great possibilities that this software provides to you. Well, have fun with learning graphic statics and thank you for watching.